was very hard for us to attend to our emergencies at night and do deliveries. We put light on the table, like torchlight or mobile light, or otherwise some of us put it in the mouth and we walk. <laughs> After they install that solar, then it make it easy for us to work at night. There's light, we never use torch again. The asthmatic patient, previously I used to use uh, the food pump. I have to sweat my gut out to help the patient. But now with the help of the solar, I can use the electrical pump so the patient is much stable now. The solar panels help us to power the solar fridge where we store our vaccines and ice packs to do mother and child health. We sterilize the instruments to be used in labor ward and suturing. My colleagues, they're working in the other facilities where they do not have the solar power. They do not have the proper sterilization. Uh, they just use alcohol swabs to just swab the like sissies and then they will use it for delivery or suturing. So in comparison, I'd say that solar power energy is like a step up to what the other health centers or facilities. So we are privileged to have the solar power installed here. I'm suggesting that in future, the solar system should be like most of the time in the rural health facility. It will be really like attractive to the people. Once the solar is in place, all the things like uh, vaccine, medicine, uh, instruments, it will be okay. Also, the houses will be, you know, powered up, light. It will attract all the offices to go. Then all the patients will be served at the rural health facility.